What is up guys, Sonner from Canadian Rider here. I'm with John from Union Rim. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to properly fix the curb rash on your wheels and then how to properly powder coat them after for a perfect finish. We're first gonna strip the wheel down, chemically strip it down. After that, we're, uh, we put in a sandblast cabinet, we media blast it and we take it to the oven, we pre-bake them and start the powder coating process. Sweet, so what color are we doing today? Uh, it's actually a special color. It's a mix of uh, hyper silver with a tinted clear to get that three-dimensional effect. Right, so you guys saw in my previous video, John went ahead and fixed the bends on my wheels and he showed us in that color palette, the hyper silver with that tinted clear. It looked gorgeous. So we're gonna go ahead with that. John's gonna take us along on how to properly do this step-by-step. -step. So the wheel's been stripped now, chemically stripped. We're gonna put it in the sandblast cabinet. Now this is just to clean off all the excess, uh, I guess, gunk that's on it and uh, also give an etch with a powder coat to adhere to the aluminum. It also gives a uniform finish so that there's no ups and downs and also uh, mostly it's for cleaning it essentially. Right. So what is the media that you're using again here? Aluminum oxide. Aluminum oxide. Yep. Why? Uh, we just find that that's the best for aluminum and it's not too aggressive and it's not too soft. You wanna, you wanna etch the aluminum. Right. So some people use glass beads. But uh, we just find that aluminum oxide works the best right. for our process. Look at the difference, like right away, you're really, that's insane. So sandblasting is done. Solid. We just look them over to make sure there's no uh, deep curb rash that needs to get welded. Right. And this one here is a little too deep to just kind of grind away. So we, add a, we have to add metal first, Got it. and then just smooth it out. And then if needed, we just run it over quickly with the sandblasting again. Just that little area over here. Yeah, this one was the deeper gouge, if yep. I remember correctly. Okay, and it did smooth out with the sandblasting, but you still have, there sure. still needs to be more done. And everything else looks fine. Just, uh, I just cleaned the metal here. Just I brushed it, even though it's clean with sandblasting, but this just cleans it some more. And then uh, I'm really gonna add, this is a TIG rod. I'm just gonna weld some material here so that when we sand it, it's all even, not all weird looking essentially. Right. Not wavy. And grind it smooth, or sand it smooth, I guess. Incredible! Would you look at that? Yeah, it's smooth now. Wow! You don't even know, like you don't even know that there was a damage there. Yeah, it looks perfect. And you guys know this is in 4K right now, so you can tell literally every detail in this video, and that looks absolutely a perfect repair. I just gotta look over the wheel and make sure there's no other things. This is why I like to personally sandblast it first. Right. And that way I can see all the little imperfections in it. Right. And then if it needs anything, we just go over our back with, uh, with this here. Got it. And then just back in the sandblast just to clean off. Got it. And then it's ready for powder coat after that. I'm um, just uh, final inspection, essentially, before it goes into the oven. Just looking for like, any possible Yep. Mix. Yep. When I stand it up, you see it better. All right. Found one. That little guy right here. <laughs> OK, so that needs to go ahead and get it. Yep. Because even that will show. Yep. Okay, so you're marking the spots. Why specifically? Uh, just I see some uh, dirt. Okay, got it. I'm just, just going to go back over it with the sandbox. Right. It's just easier to see in there. And this is why it's amazing to have a guy like John and you in the room doing this. Super meticulous, especially if you want to make sure the rims are done right the first time. Because I don't have time to go over to a shop that doesn't know what they're doing, you know, get them to do it, and then I have to come back six months later because the powder coat's peeling or cracking or a lot of other things. So, super meticulous guy, knows how he wants to get it done in the same way I would do it to my car. He's really treating the rims like you would treat your rims. If it's your baby and you really love your stuff, Go to a guy that knows what they're doing and they actually take their time and they have pride in their work. What we're gonna do for your rims uh, is gonna be a hyper silver finish. Essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray a black powder base coat 
and then we're gonna spray um, not powder a liquid automotive uh, hyper silver such as the silver dye and a lot of a lot of shops uh, don't do it this way for wheels I mean a lot of powder coaters claim they can match the powder of uh, the hyper silver but uh, you can't really match it by just all strictly powder coat you have to paint the silver dye to give that three-dimensional effect and the best way to do it is to apply it over a smooth glass like uh, black base coat. The rims are going to go inside the oven. We're going to pre-bake them, essentially just more to clean them and also outgas them before we apply the, uh, the first layer of powder. In this case, because we're doing a hyper silver finish, we need a black base coat and then we actually apply the, uh, the, the hyper silver and then we're going to apply a third coat of powder where it's going to be a, a tinted clear coat that will give that uh, almost like a blackish, grayish gunmetal look to, uh, to it. Um, so yeah, we just load them up inside there now and uh, off we go. John has a water wash paint booth here where he's going to put the rims on where they're going to be grounded and at the same time he's going to charge the powder through the gun with an electrical current that's going to attract itself to the grounded rim so it's going to get full coverage on top of the hot flocking technique he's going to be using as well. Hot flocking is powder coating a part that's already hot to give it a smoother finish and to get better and full coverage. It's also really beneficial if you're putting multiple layers on the part that you're powder coating. So in this case, John is going to be hot flocking the black finish first, then the rest of the coats that go after after, when he removes it from the oven, he's going to have to let it cool down completely, then apply those layers of powder coat. And this is how he does it. Honestly, I am absolutely speechless. John did such an amazing job on this, this four stage process on these ADV1 wheels. I couldn't be happier with how they turned out. The black just barely peeks out through the hyper silver and then it's tinted over on top of that and then fully protected and has a beautiful gloss finish with the clear coat on top. It, it's breathtaking. It is one of a kind. It is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful work done by him and his team. And this was a long process. You just seen a little montage of it. This was a long time to do this meticulous work, going through the stages to actually go into the oven, come back out during each stage, making sure everything's clean after each stage. It's really impressive to see John, his team, and the hard work and dedication it takes to actually do a proper job. And that's what's so critical in this process. And everything I learned is that so many people can just do a half ass job. They'll give out your rims. There'll be imperfections here or there, and you'll end up coming back because of peeling or flaking. These rims I couldn't be happier with. Honestly, a huge thanks again to John from Union Rim. If you guys ever need some services done from him, either wheel repair like in my video previously or in powder coating, these guys are the guys to hook up with. So now you guys know the proper way to actually powder coat your rims. Again, if you guys like this video, give it a like. If you have any questions for me and John, we'll both be watching this video. Leave them down in the comments down below. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, guys. Lots of great things coming up in 2019. And I'm going to show you, once I put these wheels on the Audi R8, how they look. I'm sure they're going to look absolutely amazing. So be sure to check out the next video. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.